Greetings, everyone. I'm Epic Titus, and this is Epic Tech, episode 19. And we're back. If you remember last time, we were making an inscriber automated chain of awesomeness. That's right, that's the official name now. And here we go. It is completely done. I did all the programming in between episodes, and it's ready to go. I've tested it out. There's not any bugs, etc., etc. Basically, you keep a stack of... Well, I threw a bunch of silicon in there, and it automatically turned it into printed silicon. And so now that'll just stay in there. Printed silicon, and I put a little bit of redstone in there, and it just kind of keeps this last one full. So that's just always sitting there. So we can make 22 circuits before we have to throw some more, some more uh, silicon or redstone in there. And I've got ready to go some pure Certus quartz, uh, gold, and diamonds. And I'm going to throw these in here, and we're going to sit back and watch it. A magic happen ready here we go dot 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 they disappear and you can actually I love the animation on these things you can actually watch them get pressed all at once the gold one made it in first that's cool and there you go and then the diamond one and there you go and the silica the the uh, certus quartz there we go is that awesome or what? We don't have to stand there. We don't have to do anything. I can just throw a stack of stuff in there, and I've got processors. Boom. Done. That's all it took. The programming, if you're interested and you missed the last episode, go back and watch it. It's not too complex. Oh, it's all there. And then I can just toss this in here for crafting in the future. I've got 11 of these gold ones. I, trust me, we'll go through those. We'll go through those really quick. As a matter of fact, as it is right now... I've got a fair amount of stuff in here. Let's see. Anybody off the top of your head, 9 times 5 is 45, right? So we should see, yep, look at that, 45 of 63 types. So if I want to put all of that in there, well, we're going to need some more. We're going to need some more storage cells. Should we make one? Let's make one. There we go. Um, no. You know what? I always just type in 1K. For right now, we're going to do 1Ks. We can upgrade these later. We have uh, more different types than anything else, so I'm just going to do that. Click, click. And again, I'm shift-clicking on these. Shift-click and click, click. And now we've got ourselves a 1K storage. We can toss that in there. It's ready to go. It's completely unused. Automatically, it'll use the top one. It'll use this one up first, and then it'll go to this one, so... Uh, we've got plenty of room. So I made an oops last time. Uh, not last time. I think it was two episodes ago, three episodes episodes ago. We did this uh, crystal growth accelerator, which is handy. Very nice. But I left it plugged in. You see how it says device online? Yeah. When these things are plugged in, and it's, it's plugged into this energy acceptor here. When those are plugged in, they are constantly using power. Like, so if we watch this, you can see it's uh, uh, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And if I go and take that thing out of there, let me grab my crescent hammer there. Ah, give me. Now we can come over and look, and it's, yeah, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Uh huh. Yeah. They use quite a bit of power, at least at this level. You know, later on, nah, whatever. But uh, for right now, they are just constantly using power. So uh, I'm going to try and figure out a good way to... For right now, I'm just going to put this thing away. And if we need to actually get some more crystals, we're, we are doing okay. Eh, we're going to need some pretty soon. But for now, we're okay with not using that. And we'll just plug it in when we need it. Later on, I'm hoping I can get to it this episode, but probably not. we got enough other things to do. Next episode, we'll automate this whole thing, and uh, and then we won't have to worry about that. Not to mention, we're going to quadruple the speed of that, which that's another thing. Hey, look what I did. I completely filled my liquid XP drum. So shift right click gives me that, and we'll just kind of store that here. And I'm going to go make another one of these guys. Did I, I showed, yeah, I, I showed on camera making that. So there's the drum. You want to see how fast it goes now? Check this out. We need a cauldron. We need two of these guys. Two. And we need this. 
Bam. I love the crafting terminal. Oh, it's awesome. And now I can just go. There we go. Yay. And we're off to the second one. Later on, we'll get into actually using this once we actually have a, uh, you know, a, a enchantment table or, or something that uses that. Uh, we'll go, we'll, we'll deal with that later, but for now we're just storing that up for, for, for later. So, all right. Uh, we need to automate this reactor. I, I, I don't like having to run back and forth and check and turn it off and turn it on. And, and I mean, it hasn't really been an issue, but it's going to be, it's going to be an issue. And I'd rather get to that sooner than later. And we've got all the stuff for it. So we've got this basic capacitor bank, which is 100% full right now. But if I start churning through all those with, with our sag mill, uh, that's, that's going to need to be turned on. Also, the bigger part of that is that when I do turn it on, I come over here, I turn it on, I walk away, and invariably I completely forget about it. And I come back later and we've wasted a whole bunch of fuel. And I don't like that. So what we're going to do today is... We're going to make a double, uh, a, a double system that that makes sure it turns off when it needs to turn off and turns on when it needs to turn on, but also that it doesn't act like if something goes wrong, it's not going to be using any fuel. Y you'll like it. It'll be awesome, I promise. So first of all, we're going to need a part called a. It's it's not that one it's this one the reactor redstone port and this is really handy oh we're gonna need some more of these control r let's get a few of those and do this and we're gonna need two of these and i'll show you why let's go ahead and replace the glass here there we go just put those there oh it's not so pretty anymore so these reactor redstone ports can do two different things. They can input and they can output redstone signal. Now, they can output or input based on various different things. Ah. By the way, control, no. Mm -hmm. If I click up here and I hit O, no. Okay, it won't work. It doesn't like me today. That's okay. Uh, okay, I'll do it this way. O, O, all right. Now that will turn off and we can actually see what it says. That's good. All right. So the each so yeah. Let's do the top one right here. This we're going to say this input toggle reactor on and off. I didn't think this through very well. Yes, no, this is right. This is right. All right. So set from signal or toggle on pulse. We want it to set from signal. So when there's a redstone signal, it's on. When there's not a redstone signal, it's off. Got it? Okay, you hit commit, and now that thing will respond to redstone signal. If I threw a switch here, eh, let's do that. Let's just grab a lever real quick. I think I've got one somewhere around here. No, of course not. Of course not. That would be way too easy. I don't know why I just did that, because I got some in here, and I've got sticks. And that means I've got a lever. All right. So if I just throw this right... I hate it when it does that to me. All right. Let's see. Can I do this? No. No, no. Definitely not. Definitely not. But I can do this. I'm almost positive this will work. Let's grab a piece of cobblestone. Throw it on there. And then we'll stick this, and the redstone signal will actually pass through there. So if I flip that switch, you notice it's green. Flip it again, it's red. Okay, but we're not going to be so simple. That's just boring. That is just plain boring. Instead, we're going to do something a little better. We're going to grab some red... Okay, see, now that's... Control O works here. Why didn't it work there? Red... Uh, okay, let's do conduit... There's a new, another, yet another kind of Ender I.O. conduit. There's redstone conduit and there's insulated redstone conduit. We want the insulated stuff. And I happen to have some redstone alloy that I picked up in, I think it was uh, a dungeon chest or something. I think that was on camera. So you can, you can go back and, 
and look if anybody remembers what episode that in that's in uh, I don't care all right so we're gonna go we're gonna stick that there and we're gonna stick that there and then this bottom one here we want it to output let's see output 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 input output fuel mix uh, output fuel amount there we go uh, no that's fuel amount output energy amount all right active while below or active while above so we want whenever it's below let's say for now we're just going to do 25 percent um then there we go so if it's below 25 percent then it'll turn on and you can see that it's at 16 i'm going to switch this to 20 percent because i want to see this happen Commit. so when that hits 20 percent this will automatically turn off now so that's that's a nice little automation we're going to actually use this uh again in a different way later here we go 19.5 there's a much more advanced way to do this using ender io and 20 and boom offline and everything shuts down and of course it's still generating heat so it generates just a little bit more and there we go and for now that'll be fine and actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to say when it's active while below yeah let's, let's leave it at that and for a while it's going to be turning off and on and off and on and off and on if i leave it like this because every time it goes below 20 percent it'll turn on every time it goes above 20 percent it turns off which means in a few moments it's going to turn back on again it's going to turn off again and it's kind of inefficient but better than leaving it on all the time now there's another way to do this and and this is actually the way I'd rather do it for now. Instead of input toggle react instead of toggling the reactor on and off, there are something called control rods. Now, I don't know if I mentioned these before. I'm gonna just really quickly I think it's right here, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. So that's our control rod. Okay, and if I right click on that, it completely crashes and you guys are seeing a black screen. Isn't that awesome? I'll be back in a second, everybody. So the funny thing is, I actually had a friend contact me earlier today and say, hey, I've got this weird bug in Epic Tech where if I right click on my reactor with something in my hand, like my pick, it crashes my game and I can do it over and over again and I said oh well that's the problem it right only right click on it with your with an empty hand there's a bug I don't know I, I've seen it before with big reactors try it with an empty hand I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine and lo and behold yeah as long as you don't have anything in your hand it, it won't crash and now this is something I'm sure they're gonna fix in that in the next version uh, don't worry too much about it and it doesn't corrupt your world or anything it's just you have to restart the client and then here it is like four hours later and I'm messing around with my reactor and I right click on it with my pick and crash my game <laughs> for the first time. Anyway, uh, yeah. So the reactor control rod, this rod, if I, by default, it's not inserted. If you insert the rod, as you do that, it decreases how much fuel is actually being in use. All the way down to if it's 100% in, inserted, then you are actually not, the, the thing's not running. It might as well be off at 100% insertion there. So this is running at 50%, etc. And it, this is this comes in handy when balancing your your reactor. You get a little bit, you get better fuel efficiency if you balance the reactor properly. Um, I didn't go into the details on that because honestly, it's not that big a deal. It's not like eulorium is super hard to find or anything. So if I turn this on right now, you'll see that we go up to about. A thousand C and that's because of the design of this reactor specifically if we had a much bigger reactor uh, it would go well over a thousand C you kind of want to balance to around a thousand C to get your best 
uh, fuel um, efficiency. So I'm going to turn that off, uh, and then I'm going to run upstairs, and I'm going to change that control rod again, and and then we're going to do this again. And I'm going to right-click without anything in there. So let's set this to 50%, and, and I'm going to run back down here, and we're going to turn it back on, and you can see this for yourself. There we go. And you'll see that it'll be using quite a bit less millibuckets per tick, it'll go up to a much lower temperature, and it'll put out less RF per tick. But it's not half of each of these. Uh, your fuel efficiency will go down, you know, say half, or your fuel, the fuel usage will go down half, but your, but how much you're putting out will go down like 60 or 70%. So like I said, your best efficiency is around 1000 C, for what that's what most people are saying and I've seen other people say well you don't want it at a thousand C you want it at like a thousand fifty or it's close enough good grief uh, so we're gonna set that to zero again I don't know why uh, I actually want to fill that in I'll fill it in later I'll fill it in off camera don't worry we won't leave a big old ugly hole there all right so instead of inputting the toggle in toggling the reactor with redstone input we're actually going to change the control rod insertion so there's insert on pulse set from signal we want set from signal still but what we're going to do is we're going to say while the redstone signal is on we want a hundred percent insertion while it's off we want zero percent okay commit and then this guy we're going to say when the out when the energy amount is above 90 percent put out a signal now just for testing i'm just going to put in above 10 percent okay and we're going to turn this on and absolutely nothing happens and the reason is because this is currently above 10 percent which means it is putting out a redstone signal. You can see that right there. And that's making, that's, that's inserting the control rod to 100%, which means no fuel is being used. Okay. If I change this to like what I want it to be, which is about 90%, then it's going to go ahead and use full fuel. It's going to go up to around 1000 C. We're going to be getting 500 RF per tick or so and away it goes once it gets to 90 it's going to insert that fuel rod and it's going to drop down to zero millibuckets okay this is an emergency shutoff is what this is this basically says if i forget to turn this thing off then stop using fuel <laughs> not necessarily an automatic turn on turn off kind of thing later on we'll actually get into the automatic turn on turn off kind of thing but but uh, but right now we really just need a, uh, a safety mechanism for my forgetfulness so there we go deactivate the reactor right now because we got plenty of energy and that way I won't forget it but even if I did we wouldn't be wasting any fuel which is kind of that's the goal right there all right <sighs> yeah all right good stuff Good stuff. All right. I'm going to be back in just a second. I want to see what we're going to do next. That's that's not the right button. Okay. I've got it. I've got it. I know what we need to do. I was looking around. I've actually been thinking about this one for a little while. Uh, we've got 10 leather. And believe it or not, that's actually the biggest limiter on making some more armor. Uh, we could, let's see, if we look at the Traveler's Armor, uh, I would like to make the Traveler's Gloves, which is six more. Uh, I'd love to make the Goggles, which is three more. And then there's also the Vest, which is six more. I can't make all of that in, uh, with what I've got. I could go fly around, you know, glide around and get some gloves or some uh find some cows and whatnot eventually i'm going to start thinning the herd so much that i won't have any more cows i could make a little pen down there and start uh and start breeding them and that kind of thing i'm not in the mood to do that i i want to do that later when um 
when I've got a little bit more in the way of power and some other basics set up, I know another way to do this. That's right. I know a cool way to do this with Pam's Harvest Craft and a trap. So that's a bear trap. That's completely different. Uh, fish trap. There we go. Animal trap. So there's also a fish trap if you want fish. I don't. I want an animal trap. And it's pretty cheap. Look at that. I'm not even sure. No, we don't have all of it. But we need some string. We need, what was it? A, uh, a trap door. A chest. I think I have a trap door over here. I don't know why I am. I'm always so, like, conservative with wood. And then I gather just piles and piles of wood. It's just kind of a thing I do. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to go running around looking for that. But I am going to grab some string. Oh, hey, we got a new tree. Speaking of wood, just grab a... Uh, I'll leave some of that up here. Oh my, this is full again. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Grab some sticks and that. And there's, see, there's actually... I have to do that every once in a while. I'm going to have to come up with a better way to do that. To actually make sure that the right stuff goes in the right place. Hmm, I think we might know a way to do that. I don't know what it might be. Hmm. Well, we'll have to think about that. All right, I'm being silly. Okay, so we need, what was it? A chest. And, of course, you know, I'm doing that, but I need to do this. That's a trap door. Throw that in there. And then that's a chest. I'm just going to make a few of those. We always end up needing chests. It seems like every it seems like every recipe requires a chest. There we go. All right, should we do more than one? Nah, just do one for now. Because I'm cheap. I'm gonna need more string too. Because these traps, these traps are really cool. I, I just discovered these myself. Uh, you can put these traps, and you have to make sure that they're surrounded by dirt. So let's see if we can put it right here. And don't worry, they're safe. You can stand on them, that sort of thing. They're meant to only trap animals. And it's all virtual. It's like there's no... It's not... I don't know. What am I thinking? What is going through my head? Come on, you know. Don't you? Because I certainly don't. All right. So you need some string, and you need some kind of vegetable... Or other things. Oh, look how much wheat we've got. We've also got barley and rye, huh? I don't really use rye that much. So I'm going to grab a bunch of that. That should be good. I don't know why I went for a square around, like, the wrong number. Okay, here we go. Grain bait. This is one of the many, there's several different kinds of bait. So there's, this is fish trap bait, and we can just type in bait. We can see all the different kinds of bait. So there's grain bait, veggie bait, fruit bait, and fish trap bait. These will attract different kinds of virtual animals and will generate different kinds of things. I've found that the grain bait will get you a lot of cows, and therefore leather and meat. Now we have to sit and wait for a while, so I'll have to come back next time and show you and show you the results of that. But next time I'll come back and we'll go take a look at that and see what we have. But we should get some leather out of that. Not a lot, but we'll get some. It's uh it's like one item every minute or something like that. It's pretty slow. But, if, but we'll get 32 total items, and it'll be things like feathers, and and sometimes it'll be things like uh, wild turkey meat, which you can't get in any other way. So I don't know what I would use it for, but you can get it, I guess. I don't really care. I do know you can get leather that way. So it's kind of like the, it's, it's kind of like the peaceful table um, in that it just kind of randomly generates items but uh eventually like i said it's real slow but as i'm working around it'll it'll do stuff and it'll gather stuff and we'll check that out later but for now 
now that I think about it, we've got a couple extra minutes. Let's really quickly make the next awesome. Let's see. I'm thinking we should make... Is it like that? No? Of course, I don't know my... I don't know my recipes. Traveler's Gloves. That was close. That wasn't too bad. Like that. The Traveler's Gloves you can wear in this slot right here. And look, it actually shows up on your avatar. Isn't that cool? Isn't that neat? Here, let me take a look. I like the wings too. But I'm wearing gloves, I'm wearing boots, I'm wearing wings. <laughs> Eventually I need to get something to cover my bald head. Nah. Okay. So, by default, these gloves are completely useless. But, there's one thing you can do with them. If you've got a lot of redstone, like I do. And that is... Oh, here. Oh, yeah. I need to show you something else, too. Just really quickly. This is only going to take a second. Um, and I need to actually make, really quickly, a crafting table, which we will immediately turn into a crafting station. And then we're going to put this next to here. This really hasn't come in yet. We haven't really needed this yet, but... There we go. Just grab, do that, and we'll throw that in there. And you're thinking, what is he doing? You can use this like the, like exactly like the Tool Forge um, for upgrades. But the cool thing is, see right here, this is going to add. I mean, this is nine, obviously, from the recipe, and then one more, so we got an even ten. But check this out. Cool. That's sixty-three. Look. I just put 64 in one shot. Isn't that cool? All right. So you can actually put redstone on these guys. Apparently not that much. Come on. Right. And even 100. And then that's one modifier. And you can do more and off to just get another 100. But with that, if you put that into your glove slot... You can now, if you're not wielding a weapon, things break faster. I don't know if you can tell the difference there. I'll take it off. and It really kind of feels about the same, doesn't it? Well, I'll tell you what. Once you put... See, this has... How many modifiers did it say it had on it? Uh, four modifiers. If I put 400 more redstone on there, which <laughs> we could probably do. I think I've got... What do we have? I have... 448 more redstone and I've got more in the in the storage system so I'm not too worried about it but I could throw another two or three hundred on there and and it would make a big difference shall I shall I do it what do you think let's do it why not it'll be fun okay I know I'm crazy it's okay I'm used to it so we're gonna do that come on Oh, and then the mouse. Come on. Come on. Be nice to me. There we go. So that's uh, 172. And then 190 with one more. There's another. That's 200. And then get some more. Like that. And that's 272. 290. 296. Four more should give us 300. All right, so we just used 300 on this. Let's see how this breaks dirt. Oh, yeah. That's that's a big difference. Does it seem like a big difference to you? It's really handy. You don't really need to carry around a shovel when you've got one of these things on because when it comes to dirt and sand and that kind of thing, it just goes fast. You can actually... I mean, have you ever tried to break cobblestone with your hand? It takes forever. I'm going to take this off just to show you. Yeah. Yeah. You see the difference? Okay. You see it now. Now I don't have to feel like you think I'm crazy. Crazier. Yeah. Anyway, that's enough. We've got a whole episode done. You think? I think so. So next time, we'll check out the, the trap there. 
we're going to do a little bit more automation and start to expand our uh, I'm going to try and fix my stupid mouse. Uh, we're going to try and expand our ME system. I'm going to automate the uh, things and the whatnots and the things. All right, that's enough. I'm starting to babble and do weird things. So that's all. I might put some more drives in there and move and take most of that stuff and put it in here. And oh, yes. I almost forgot. We are going to. I am going to take all this stuff out. I'm going to put it in there. And then I'm going to put a whole bunch of it back. And you'll see why next time on Epic Tech.